Hello, and welcome to Microsurgical Endo Educational Institute. My name is Dr. Alan Nisse, and today I'd like to share with you a simple and efficient method I have developed for post preparation using the Endo Sequence instrumentation and observation system. This is a very simple technique that also allows cementation of the post immediately after the root canal. Before we discuss this technique, however, I would like to emphasize a few points. First, it is important to remember that a post and core should never be placed immediately after the root canal if there is any doubt about the thoroughness of the cleaning, shaping, and obturation or discovery of all existing canals. If there are doubts about achieving length through cl uh, thorough cleaning and disinfection or finding all canals, including MB2s, I highly recommend waiting and monitoring instead of immediate restoration of the tooth. Second, it is important to realize that the function of the post of a post is merely to retain the core. A post does not strengthen the tooth, and ubiquitous use of posts is remnant of the non-adhesive days of dentistry. Today, where bond strengths surpass the co cohesive strength of dentin, there seems to be little logic for the use of posts especially in molars, where bonded cores appear adequately retentive. This is why the endosequence post system is designed more like an interradicular core buildup with a rebar than a true post system in its, in its traditional sense. Now, the, the fiber post is simply used to carry the core material into the canal and unlike metallic posts, does not predispose the tooth to fracture. So, the system does not have post rails, and each fiber post simply matches the taper of an endosequence rotary file, whether it's 06 or 04. Now, as a result, no canal preparation is needed, only removal of the gutta percha to the required length, and then cementation of the corresponding post. The technique I will talk about is based on this very simple concept of how can we place a gutta percha cone to a predetermined length without its handle and use the remaining empty space coronal to it as post space. Now, uh, this is easily achievable using the endosequence obturation system as the gutta percha master cone is of higher molecular uh, density and molecular weight and therefore stiffer so it doesn't distort as easily as other cones. Furthermore, the evolution in one cone uh, sealer technology and obturation using the endosequence bioceramic sealer has suddenly made this technique possible and predictable. In summary, this technique involves fitting a master cone for the canal uh, that, will be, that will get the post essentially and then cutting the tip of the master cone to the length that will remain in the canal after the post is cemented and then cementing only that segment of the gutta percha cone or without the handle uh, in a one cone technique. Now the remaining space is then cleaned off of sealer and then used as a post space. Let's look at this in more detail and demonstrate it with an example. Here we have a canine tooth that has been prepared to an apical size of a 3504 in the sequence file uh, and uh, in a crown down fashion to a final length of about 23 and a half millimeters.